Hi besties, welcome to Jikoni Magic's Meza. Today we're going to learn how to make rice in the electric pressure cooker versus the rice cooker. I'm going to show you the different things that you can do so that it's always successful. I'm going to be using this cup measure that came with the rice cooker. When you buy the electric pressure cooker, it also comes with its own cups for measuring. But just for simplicity, I'm going to use the same cup for, for both. So now the other thing that you have to really be careful about when measuring out your rice, please keep it at that level. Do not come and heap it like goro goro ya soko at you. You want it to, no. Just make sure that you level it out. That is how you're going to end up with good rice. So I'm going to cook two cups in the rice cooker, in the electric pressure cooker. So the next thing that I want to do is wash the rice. Make sure that the water runs clear. Yeah. Now, when it comes to the rice cooker, you're going to use one cup measure to two cups of water. When it comes to the electric pressure cooker, you're going to measure one cup of rice and one cup of water. And then because I don't like my rice being so dry, I usually come and add about a quarter of the cup to make um, one and a quarter cups as in for example, if I was making two cups of this, I will come and do two cups and then add just a quarter. If I'm doing three cups, I'll do three cups of water and a quarter. That is when it comes to the electric pressure cooker. As for this one, one to two. Remember this one, two and a quarter. And then that quarter cup. This one, four. One to two. Oil is optional. So I'm just putting about two tablespoons in each. You don't have to. Salt is according to your taste. And then we cover. And go ahead and set for the rice and turn this on. We'll start by setting the energy meters. I've shared about them a few times on my channel. And the most important thing to remember about them is that they are not surge protectors, okay? They only measure for you the amount of energy that's going to be consumed by whichever device you're using. So I'm going to start by setting the cost at 22 Kenya shillings per kilowatt hour. There we go. All set. And when we look at the kilowatt hour, still at zero because no device has been connected yet. And I'll do the same to the other meter. Next, I'm going to set the electric pressure cooker to the rice setting. In this Moulinex, rice setting is 12 minutes after it comes to pressure. Very important to remember that. I'm also ensuring that the pressure regulating valve is well situated. I'll also be turning on the rice cooker just like so. Once the EPC comes to an end, it will start reading hot and you want to let it natural release for about 10 minutes and then you will come and do a quick manual release of the remaining pressure and on the other side you can see the rice cooker has already gone to the keep warm function it finished cooking about five minutes before the epc came to an end now to what most of us i'm sure are wondering about for the rice cooker we have spent 5.65 kenya shillings and it consumed 0 0.25 kilowatt hours of electricity. As for the EPC, the electric pressure cooker, we've spent 3.49 Kenya shillings and 0 0.159 kilowatt hours. And just in case there are any doubting Thomases out there, 
let me show you that the devices are actually connected to the meters. I'm curious about what you're thinking right now. What's your take on the overall cost of cooking with electricity? I mean, is it cost effective or not? Next, let's check out our rice. One thing about the rice cooker that you really must pay attention to is the longer you leave your rice in there, the more it will keep cooking. I usually find that the bottom begins to form a crust. So I usually don't let the rice stay in there for too long just to avoid that. After 10 minutes, the pin clearly has fallen down. You see, when you press that, the pin doesn't go down. So, yeah. So let's open and see what we are working with. Now, the reason why we let the EPC stand for about 10 minutes so that it can naturally release is so that the steam is redistributed. And if any rice was going to stick at the bottom, then sticking will not happen, especially if you're going to use the stainless steel pressure cookers. And then the other thing is... um the rice will be fluffier. So now that you have finished cooking, if you ask me for my honest opinion, I do prefer the quality of the rice that has come from the electric pressure cooker. As you can see, the rice grains are separate. Okay. Ziko moja moja as compared to the rice cooker. Okay. The one that's come from the electric pressure cooker still has a bit of a bite to it. It's not totally soft, soft, okay? Whilst the one that has come from the rice cooker is um, too soft <laughs> for my liking. I guess it also has to do with the amount of water that has gone in here. So yeah, two cups, four cups, two cups. So yeah. So sometimes I do tend to reduce the amount of water depending on the kind of rice that I'm making. If you'd like to know how to take care of your pressure cooker, please click on this link that's going to appear right above here in the i bar or the info bar so that you can, you know, learn how to wash it, take care of it, the different kinds of electric pressure cookers that we have. Don't miss out on a fantastic content that we have. Until next time, besties, thank you for having been a part of this journey. See you when we see you.